how you doing? It's Mr. Do the Math here. And today we're going to talk about transitive and substitution properties, right? I use this example here. If Norman is my brother and Charles is my brother, then Norman and Charles are brothers too. That is transitive property, okay? So let's look at it this way. And we'll use angles. We got this angle. Angle A, we got angle B, and we got angle C. Angle C, right? Transitive property says this. If angle A is congruent to angle B, and angle B is congruent to angle C, then by transitive property, angle A and angle C are congruent. Okay? So, this is theorem number 16, which says that if if angles or segments are congruent to the same angle or segment, then they are congruent. That's transitive property. All right, then theorem 17 says, if angles or segments are congruent to congruent angles or segments, then they're congruent. It's pretty much the same, right? So if angles and segments are congruent to the same, right? If they're congruent to the same one, they are congruent. And then if this is 16, this is theorem 16, and this is theorem 17, <laughs> right? It says if angles are segments, are congruent to congruent angles or segments. Segments, then they're congruent. Okay? That's what we're working with. Okay? Let's look at a proof right fast. Here we go. So we got this picture here. Mm, 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 mm. Nope, it don't look like that. It looks like this. Uh, uh. Okay, let's just redraw it. All right, we got this right here. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it was like I drew it the last time. Uh. All right, K, J, H, G, N, F. Okay? So we got K, H, G, and F. Given, here's our givens. All right, remember we, we write out our proofs in, in, for practice. F, G, segment F, G, is going to be congruent to KJ. Congruent to KJ, no matter what it looks like right now. And GH is congruent to segment KJ. <clears throat> okay? Prove, you got to prove that uh, KG bisects FH. Okay? So, they said FG, FG is congruent to this one, and they said this is congruent to that one. Okay? So let's start our proof. Here we go. Uh, statement, reason. Our givens, we got our, we got our two givens, FG, KJ, GH, KJ, right? Why they, why, why? What's the rationale? What's the reason? Given. Given. These are given. All right? Now, based on this, what, what's the next thing you can say? What's the, next, what's the next statement you can make? What do you think? Look at, look at what we got. FG is congruent to KJ. GH is congruent to KJ. Yes, ma'am. Um, FG is congruent, congruent to GH. Very good. FG is congruent to GH. Why? Exactly. So we could just say transitive property. Transitive property. Right? That would be theorem 16, right? All right, now, so now we know that these two segments are congruent. Finally, then, you can say that then KG is bisected 
is, is bisecting uh, FH. Now, for this reason, you will use the definition of bisect. What's the definition of a bisector? Right, yeah. So the definition of bisector, if, if a line divides segment in two, then it's a bisector. Right? So, again, you got this is congruent to that, this is congruent to that, then these two are congruent. Chance of the product. Right? That's straightforward. Okay? Straightforward. Let's go to the next one. The next example here. The next step. Uh, we can erase 16 and 17. Alright. The next one is substitution. Substitution. Say substitution. Substitution. Say it again. Substitution. I can't hear you. Substitution. All right. So here's your example here. All right. Oh yeah. yeah. So substitution. We yeah. I have volleyball players in here, right? So if I am a setter, right? No, 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 no. You need two people. All right. Let's go to basketball, right? I play. I play guard. I play guard, and Emily plays guard, right? Me and Emily are in the game together. We're playing, right? We're playing together. Guard, pass, 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 pass. Janelle plays guard too. So since Janelle plays guard and she's on the bench, she can come in and take Emily's position. Substitution, the same thing. They play the same position, right? Or, oh, ah, uh, yeah, um... You run track, right? I run, we on the sprint medley relay. Sprint medley relay means we got a <coughs> two, two, four, eight. 200, 200, 400, 800, right? Um, so I run the 400 on the sprint medley relay. Patrick runs the 800 on, on the uh, sprint medley relay, right? Tillman also runs the 800. So Tillman can take Patrick's place because they are the same. They run the same event. That's substitution property. Okay? So let's look at it. Let's look at the geometry. Let's look at it geom geometrically, right? Bam, bam, bam. Right? So you got this angle here. Angle one and angle two. Right? And then you have angle three over here. Alright? If angle one is complementary to angle two, alright? Here we go. If Angle one is complementary to angle two, right? And angle two is congruent to angle three. What can you conclude? Yes, Josh. Angle one is complementary to angle three? Yes, sir. Then angle one is complementary to angle three. Because these two are the same. So this this can be substituted in for two. That's substitution property. Okay? You want to see a proof? Let's see a proof. No? You don't want to see a proof? You do or you don't? All right, let's look at it. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, But, like, if it's beautiful to me, then it will be, like, tolerable for you, right? You know? You'll tolerate it. If I think it's pretty, then y'all be like, all right, I'm, I'll check it out. So just check it out. Just check it out. Here we go. You got this angle here. Uh, 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 and uh. One, two, and three. Right? Here we go. Angle one is complementary to angle three. Angle one is complementary to angle three. Angle one plus angle two equals 90 <coughs> degrees. Right? Angle one is congruent to angle three. Right? You need to prove that 3 plus 2, 3 plus 2 equals 90. Hmm. Doesn't that look familiar? That sounds familiar, right? Say it's too easy, right? No. Man, I love that. Look. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to do this. Angle 1 plus angle 2 equals 90, given <coughs> angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. Why? Given. Y'all got to say it like I said it. Given. 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 Right? Given. All right. So now, what's the next thing we can say? So we don't need to, we don't need to go through an extra song and dance. and say one and two 
are 90 degrees. One and two are complementary. They said one and three are the same thing, right? Therefore, you can just go straight to our, our last our proof and say, because these two are, these are congruent and these are complementary, then when you put three in the place of one, you get, uh, you get the same thing. They are complementary because of the substitution properties. Substitution properties. That's it. <coughs> Substitution product. That's it. So that's transitive property. Transitive property means that uh, transitive property. They they if if I if my last name if I am if I'm Norman's brother Charles is my brother then Charles and Norman are brothers. Substitution is if. Me and Norman are playing. If Norman's blocking for me, because I'm the running back, Charles is running back. Charles can come in and take my place. He can substitute in, and Norman will block for him too. Right? Substitution properties. Norman is going to block for everybody. All right. All right. So if you have any questions, comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Just to do the math out.